Hey guys, and welcome to Cry Please The Forest of Drizzling Rain. This game's, uh, pretty Japanesey, and was fan translated. I hear the fan translation's kind of not the best, but it could be worse. Man, this game was recommended to me by a good buddy of mine, so let's see if I should trust their judgment anymore in the future. I heard of the death of my parents on a day of terrible rain. It was a traffic accident. Hearing this sudden sad news, in a rush, I hurried to the hospital, but it was already too late. In the end, I was unable to see the death of my mother or father. The funeral was, as they wanted, performed in private. Both my parents cut ties with all other relatives and kin while I was little, and nobody was called to the funeral. It was a very quiet funeral. Just for me, who lost my parents. I keenly felt my lack of relatives, and so I think I felt a little lonely. The day my father and mother died, was strangely enough, on my birthday. I think that in order to congratulate me, who's barely just gone to university, my parents were high in spirits unlike usual. The present to me that was within the smashed car was what indicated that. I... I... I fell asleep. Alright, let's clean up just a little bit more. What about your present? Oh my... When you move, I just imagine like a tick 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 sound every time you take a step. Cremation, burial, permission, and issuance request form. Death certificate, post-mortem certificate, final declaration. Okay. The inheritance tax death <laughs> all these big words. The inheritance tax declaration. Um I need to return the papers to the shelf. Okay. Here you go. Eh. Do you want it? When I touched the shelf, a small key like object came out. Obtained small key. Okay. Full of black tea, but it's already all cold. You're not gonna clean the tea up off the floor. Gotcha. Can I read this? A locked album. Seems like it could be open with a key. Okay. Photographs reminiscent of the past inside. Huh? As if one part of the album seems to have been omitted. There are some blank pages in between. The times when I was little of some have been left out. The clock. Fix the clock. The clock seems to have stopped. Due to its complex construction, it doesn't seem like she can fix it. For now, let's try fixing it. Perhaps it's okay like this. Let's fasten the doors and rest for today. Yep, this is gonna be an experience, alright. I'm gonna be battling a language barrier. I'm okay with that, I guess. Fasten the door. The door is firmly locked. Good job. Let's go fasten all the other doors. Huh. Well, this is the kitchen, but you have cake, you have a fridge. The fr Refrigerator's empty. Gotta go shopping tomorrow, then. It's as if these ingredients that have been cut are stopping the flow of time in this house. That doesn't even make sense. A splendid cake here, but somehow a feeling of hurt starts. If I don't clean up by tomorrow... Yeah, so clean up the stuff. All stuff that I like. 
Clean it. Perhaps these were lovely before. This cooking is already starting to get rotten. Then throw it away. I'll stop. Please, clean. Cl clean. Clean. You're... Okay, fine. You know what? Let your house be stinky. I don't care. Get roaches. Bathrooms. See? An unfilled bathtub. Holy shit. So you have a room designated just for showers? And then you have a room designated just for... Using the facility of... That. A western-style toilet. A decoration of a picture of a rose. I've never seen a house like this. I mean, I guess it's understandable. You don't want to be washing where you make stinky. So, there's that. You gonna fasten some more doors or what? Manga and magazines here. Books from high school here. That's good. Do you want a rabbit? Why, wow, all dusty. If I don't dust it this time. Why don't you just do some cleaning then? It's pretty simple stuff. You wanna go to bed? So cloudy, not a single star can be seen. Even now, it seems like tonight the sky might cry. That's poetic. Do you want to just, like, crawl into bed? Can you crawl in bed? Oh. Should have probably tried that earlier. I'm tired. Let's sleep already. Suddenly alone. There's nobody that knew me since I was little. And there's nobody from back then who knew my father and mother. It was... terribly lonely. Understandably. Come, come. Come, come, come. My cute, cute child. Quick, quick, come out here. The promise. Come to fulfill your promise. For the promise you guys split into two. Only the time and deficit will be forgiven. Only now, only now. And so, when the day comes, come, come, my cute, cute child. Please, give it all to me. I won't allow you to escape. I won't allow it. I won't allow it. What the hell was the red text about? What did you make a promise to? Who do you promise things to? Don't promise things to people who speak in red text. It's not that clock. Wait, is it? The bell of the clock that should have stopped continues ringing over and over. If I don't stop the sound. Huh? Uh huh? The sound of the bell seems to have stopped. From the clock, something like a single scrap of paper fell down with a flutter. A photograph. It's a photograph of her from when she was young, with both parents. An unfamiliar old man is in it. When I turn to the reverse, there's a short message written on it. It seems to be my mother's writing. 19x, x month, x day, x prefecture, x city, has a Kawa village. Kenji-san's father, Kenji-san myself, Shiori. There seems to be more written here, but it's been so blurred I can't read it. Huh. Father, mother, and my own name. Hmm. Then, the one with the picture here... Could it be Granddaddy? Huh? Even after that, I spent my days attending to my busy life. When things finally calmed down, the time when I sorted out my mind, and the season changed, it approached my summer vacation. A summer vacation from my long university was enough to make me depressed. And then, I suddenly remembered the photograph I found that day. 
the one depicted in that photograph could perhaps be my grandfather, right? Thinking that, the loneliness I thought I grew used to instantly descended on me. I want to go meet. I want to try to go meet. Go meet, talk about various things, ask about various things. Thinking that, I, with my summer vacation, decided to go to the place in the photograph. And so now, I'm swaying in this train, and it's towards Azakawa Village. Oh my god, summer break. Vacation's where I wanna be. Sunny on the beach and the fun is free. Um, the time on the bus to the village is free. Would be three hours later. Huh. I guess there's nothing to do but wait. Huh. It's late. It's not coming. A car? No, a patrol car. Hey, you there. What are you doing? Uh, um, the bus isn't coming. Bus? Ah, the passengers have gotten too few. That it has already gone out of service. Huh? What, did you intend to go to Azakawa Village? Yeah. I see. Okay. It's dangerous for a kid to be in this kind of place. I can send you with a patrol car. Huh? Is that alright? Ah, uh, so, where are you going in the village? Yeah, it's this place, but... Do you know it? Oh, ah, that is the museum of this village. Museum. Though in the past, it seems to have been quite the splendid mansion. It's become a museum ever since the old man who owned the mansion died. So, what kind of business do you have at that place? No, for relatives. Huh? Um, well, okay. For now, let's ride over there. Because the museum closes once it gets dark. You're a nice guy. I like the cut of his life. Um, thank you. No, no problem. More importantly, do you really have some business here? Yeah. Well, it's outside, it's, it's, it's outside, it's ours. But I think the manager's still in. However, since that person is quite stern, as for whether you'll be let in... For now, if there's ever anything, you should contact the local police station. Yeah, I thank you very much. Bye, homie. What a nice guy. Azakawa Village Museum. Doesn't even have a name, just named after the village. With the museum at the end. That's... Alright. It's dark. What is that? This scent feels so familiar. Is it just me? Is anyone here? Hello? Anybody home? I'm here to look at the museum. Maybe hang out with my granddad. Wow, how cold. I guess you touched wet things, because I can't see a darn thing. You can feel things, at least, so that's good. Hey, a shiny thing over here. Hello. What are you? It's okay, it's one of those dust things from that one Spirited Away movie. Picked up key. Thank you. Alright, time to find a locked thing for this key. So dark, I 
can't go up to the next floor. Oh, this is where you needed to bring a flashlight. You always gotta bring one of those, trust me. Seems like it could be open with a key in hand. Oh, okay. A lamp inside the desk. Obtain lamp. Y use lamp? Do you want to just, like, plug in a lamp? Or do you want to, like, find a outlet? Would you like to do that? Something is written here, but it's so dark it can't be read. Okay. Well, I guess now I just gotta find electricity. I, I guess I can get behind that. It's... It's understandable. I can't go to the next floor. It's too dark. I, I get that. Hmm. Well, this sure is something. Wait a second. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, I'm super dumb. It was a lantern, not a lamp. God. God. See? That was a lost in translation error. I'm Bill Murray. Please acknowledge communi communi communication in writing. Azukawa Village Museum Manager. Okay, bunny. Writing implements. Okay. Please, some assistance in the donation of inheritance to the village. Okay, you all make no very good sense. Please don't silently take books from this museum. As for copies, <laughs> you can loudly take them, but not silently. In the museum, drinking and eating are forbidden, and lighting fires strictly forbidden. Please smoke outside. So don't be an arsonist. Gotcha. Uh, I found the bathroom and kitchens. Hello, toilet. Seems like it can be used. That's good! Having a working uh, bathroom area is uh, very good for a museum. Water has been put inside. Should drain that later. Washing machine. So there's a tub and a washing machine. I'm sure they have a tub in a museum. Hmm. Oh well. Refrigerator. The microwave above gives off a burnt odor. Someone burnt their hot pockets. Cooking that has been completely burnt black has been left here. Okay, someone's just a really bad cook apparently. It's locked, so it won't open. Well, I guess that's fine. I can sprint. Okay, so, gotta find Granddad. What does this say here? Ugh. First floor, Azakawa Village Library. Second floor, Azakawa Historical Village Records Historical. Bathroom is on this floor. To the right? We were on the left side. Close for today. Wait a second, what's this side then? It's locked, so... What? Your arrows don't make any sense. Unless, the, like, the one on the left is a faculty-only bathroom. Because, I mean, it was only one toilet, so it would make sense. An emergency bell. Don't ring that. You'll get in trouble. Door's locked, so it won't open. Azukawa Village Heritage Exhibition. Please don't touch. We're gonna touch. Touch this. Don't touch it. That. Perhaps due to lack of ventilation, a dusty atmosphere flows around here. Oh. The mists. It's locked, it won't open. It's locked, it won't open. It's locked, it did open. Good. A picture book has fallen here. This picture book. Do I know it? As I thought, when I was little here. Sure. Once upon a time, there was a quite, there was quite a beautiful woman in the village. However, the woman, with her beauty, made men captive and started doing evil things. Because of this, the village became quite desolate, and the men, their wives, and their children all starved. Finally, this evil woman was chased away by the people of the village into the mountains. Perhaps because this woman wouldn't stop doing evil things, she gradually changed appearance and ended up becoming a monster. An Obake. The woman who became a monster became the Kotori Obake, who would abduct children and send them to hell. She abducted all children. The men in the village, however much they tried to go out and exterminate this monster, were all unable to win against the monster. Then, one day, a rain started falling in the village. A light rain, like a drizzle. 
And for some reason, the Kotori Obake, together with the rain, came down upon the village. Where is my child? Where is my child? The children going into the forest are not enough. So, give me my child. Give my child to me. At that time, one villager headed towards Kotori Obake. Strangely enough, the Kotori Obake did not attempt to attack this villager. And thus, this brave villager threw a blue shining stone at the Kotori Obake. When the stone hit the Kotori Obake, it made a shrieking voice and returned to the forest. Afterwards, the person who threw the rock made prayers that the Kotori Obake would not come to the village and abduct children, and the Kotori Obake did not descend upon the village ever again. From then on, the villager became the one called Ogami-san, and since then protected the village from the forest Kotori Obake. Children then no longer went into the forest anymore, and the village completely regained its vitality. That story was terrible. No one fell in love. Lined with children's books and children's picture books. Oh, this broken translation is great. Oh, sure. Okay. Ah, ah geez, that surprised me. Well, uh, after the mouse flew out, a key was found in the drawer. Thank you. I have a key now. The window is not locked. Okay. Old ornaments and cloth stuffed inside. Okay. Old ornaments and cloth. Okay, we're good. Let's leave. We also have a key now, so let's check these out. Uh, sure. Good. First try. Oh, parchments. Aged documents have been rolled up. Okay, that's good to know. Unused tableware inside. Wasted. An album has been left here. Old photos have been put in this album. Almost all the photos are of a man and someone who seems to be his child. Also, beside the photograph, seems to be a label indicating the names of those depicted. The name is Kai Ichiro. The child is... Kenji. And is that your dad? Yep. He does resemble... Dad, maybe. Let's investigate a little more. Perhaps it's as I thought. Yeah, your granddad works here. Files containing several documents, like the contracts concerning the Azakawa Village Museum, have been left here. I reach my hand out to one of those files. Written in these documents seems to be the details about the rights to this land and the estate. In the very end, the name of the maker of these documents has clearly been written. This museum will be entirely entrusted to the manager. Furthermore, if finally there is no successor, this museum will be donated to the town for inheritance. Kanzaki Kaichiro. That's right. There was definitely also a name in that album too, so... Uh, anyways, as I thought, this is the place where my granddaddy was. Then... This place is my father's hometown. Return the file to the shelf. I really want to stay here a little and investigate, but for now I need to leave this mansion. Tomorrow let's come here again and explain the situation to the manager. You know, you, you're kind of breaking and entering right now. You could have just waited till tomorrow to do this, okay? Something shining seems to have fallen from above the shelf. You wanna go touch it? A pendant with three blue shining stones has fallen to the floor. Even when I try to return it, my hand can't reach above the shelf. For now, let's take it along and leave it at the reception. Even so, this is really pretty. Why is it shining like this? So now you're stealing. I know you said you're going to leave at the reception, but that's bogus. You're totally going to put it in your pocket and 
forget it, aren't you? Yeah, that's, that's the kind of person you are. It's like, oh, my parents are dead. Time to become a thief. Some sounds can be heard from somewhere. Hello? Door's locked, so it won't open. Uh... Hello? Okay. I'm just gonna go away now. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just go. I'll just leave. He said we're gonna leave it at the reception, so... Put it here at the reception. Necklace, I need to put it back. There you go. See? Good job. Scrap of paper fell from the desk drawer. What is this? A piece of an old calendar. Ah, there's a circle on a date. A tin calendar scrap. What? What is this? What does this say? Yeah, an old calendar. That is a dot on June twelfth, uh, twelfth, twelfth. That's a day after my birthday. I don't want to use it right now, do I? Okay. So I want to make sure. Might as well save. There we go. Hmm. I'm just gonna go? As I thought, there is someone in this house. Perhaps. Are you sure you're okay with doing what you're about to do? I mean, I'm sure you are. But you shouldn't be. Hmm. How about this side, then? What is up here? Sounds can be heard from further with that. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go. Look at that big scary door that doesn't even work properly. There's sound from the other side of the door. However, it's locked. Um, excuse me. Who is it? From the other side of the door, a girl's like voice can be heard. I am... Now to say this, uh, I came here because there's something I wanted to know. You're not the manager. Or, well, perhaps I'm looking for the manager. Uh, you are the manager? Uh, no. Uh, for now, get me the hell out of here. Yeah? I was hiding, so the door became locked and I can't go out now. Uh, what do I do? That would definitely have been the manager, right? I don't know. In fact, I don't want to be found. Then should I contact the local police? No! Do you mean Officer Mochikazikibu? Just not that. I'll die if you call him. Th then what, what do you want me to do? From the little hole in the wall, a small key-like object came out. This is... Use this, and look for the key to this room. Okay. Picked up key. I'm gonna use this key to find another key. It's gonna be cool. Just you wait. Just you wait. This door is locked, so it won't open. Okay, just you wait again. Okay. I'll be back. <laughs>